Currency lovers, hopefully you had a chance to check out our giveaway from the last video. If you haven't, go to varietyairs.com, and on the main page there you'll see a little loading thing that turns into uh, the ways to enter our giveaway. So there's 12 more days in the giveaway. We set it for two weeks, and we're going to give away 10 prizes. The last giveaway we did had over 300 entries, so if we get uh, up there with those types of numbers, hey, then I'll just give away some more mystery prizes. But let's get to some bill searching. Uh, kind of a smaller one. This is the only pocket change I had. So we'll just kind of run through it, see if we find anything worth more than face value and cover uh, what we're looking for. So right off tops, so we notice that there's a, an ink spill right here. Now, from the tone of that ink, as you can probably tell across the rest of this $10 Federal Reserve note, that's not a tone of ink that's used in the production of U.S. currency, and therefore is something that happened after it was produced. There's nothing in the serial numbers as far as a pattern. Uh, they match up, which would be a, a rarity to come across a mismatched serial number, but not unheard of. They are worth quite a bit above face value for mismatches because they're so uncommon. Same dealio here. we got some blue ink. That's just from like a ballpoint pen. There's that bleed through from that other ink. And what else do we got going on? It's hard to tell if we have a, an ink, a little ink smear, a little ink dot right here because of this fold. I would assume that it's just damage to the bill. Uh, so we'll just move on from that guy. A little bit better condition, 2017 note, only difference on this uh, versus other $1 notes is going to be the signatures, of course, is the only thing that's changed. Nothing else has changed with $1 notes in 63, 64 years. Uh, so nothing to talk about there. No shifts, a little bit of a shift here. This is usually sitting closer to the center part, this little chevron looking center of the E on 1. Got a little bit of a ticker note going on here. That's when you have... Uh, Basically, the roller that puts down these serial numbers, it ticks one digit at a time, of course, uh, to change it to the next serial number. And sometimes that gets uh, a little stuck. So that'll kind of raise the last one or two digits, sometimes even more. Uh, but generally, the last digit will be raised a little bit. As you can see, it doesn't translate over to this serial number. But it's not dramatic enough for me to hold on to. Uh, this little excess stuff here is either a wet ink transfer from the bill below this one is what this one looks like. If you go really close, you can see it sits atop the one. Uh, so it's not an over-inking of his jacket from the front there. Nothing there. Really beat up $1 note, series 2013. Uh, $1 notes, if you go to varietyairs.com, our site, it does cover uh, the length of time that all Federal Reserve notes generally have for their uh, life and circulation. $1 notes being uh, the least. And this one shows it. It's been wet. It's been folded a bunch of times. It's nice and beat up. It's been used a bunch to get fast food and movie tickets and all that fun stuff we can't really do right now. Uh, but hopefully soon we'll get back to the swing of things. Moving right along. A bit older bill. 2006. So we don't usually see a lot of 2006 bills. Now 2006... Uh, was the series that some of the other denominations, like $5 notes and $10 Federal Reserve notes, uh, as well as, well, the redesigns took place around then, but they weren't necessarily released. But most of the redesign notes uh, came out around 2006 or the early 2000s uh, series in general. No shifts, no craziness in serial numbers or anything like that. No fancy serial numbers. Folded up, creased up, gotten wet. Moving along. Flop this around. 2013 note. Nothing in the serial numbers. Really beat up, so if we did have any ink, is ink issues across Washington's depiction on the front of the note, it would be hard to tell from the condition of it. And as you know, condition plays a role into the value of basically anything, uh, but most importantly, collectibles in general. So if you collect other things like comic books or vinyls or toys, uh, movie memorabilia, whatever. You know that, uh, you know, as a collector, you'd probably be willing to pay a little bit more of a pretty penny, pun intended, on uh, currency as, uh, as well as other collectibles if they're in better condition. Folded up $5 notes. Uh, this is not a fold over air. That would be incredibly nice. 
but it's just a beat up five dollar note. I love these versions of the fives after the redesign. I think the uh, enhanced graphics and artwork is just beautiful on these notes. Uh, but let me know what you think of uh, your favorite note, whether it's a current one in, in circulation or one that's been discontinued. Nothing there. Another ink spill kind of deal here. Now, obviously, bright blue is not something that's used on U.S. Federal Reserve notes, so we don't have to even touch on that too much. Got a little bit of a press through of the serial number, but... Unfortunately, I can't feel this note, but it's actually pretty thinned out from either a ton of handling uh, or usage, or it's it's been wet and actually just like dried out or whatever. Um, and that's probably why you see a little bit more of the depictions on the front of the note through this note. It's also tore up. So pretty beat up, but still worth five bucks. And nothing here. Almost, I mean, at first glance, I was like, yeah, I thought it was a 01, so January 4th, 1717 would have been a cool date note. Uh, but in this case, no dice. Uh, and a nice fold down here, vertical fold, as well as a horizontal kind of crappy fold. So that takes away from it if it did have uh, any variety or air to it. Aside from that, just a dollar, so I'll buy a coffee on the way to work. Because I have to go to work soon. Yay! <laughs> but anyway, almost a broken ladder, man. So we were a couple digits off, but keep an eye out for broken ladders. That's going to be, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, um, or a mix match of those numbers, uh, or similarly. Now, it doesn't have to start with 0. You can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You get the gist. Uh, but they can be mix-matched around. That's a broken ladder. If they're in ascending or descending order, that would be an actual ladder note, which are worth a, a good premium over face value. Nothing on that guy. Moving right along. Somebody's wrote on the front of this. So they had 80 bucks at one point. Good for them. Nice little shift going on here. So normally, as we saw with all those other notes, the seal sits a little bit higher than this. It's supposed to sit kind of right on the center. With this edge, which is in the right place, running right along the center of this E. So we have a little bit of a shift. Normally, this seal would also sit slightly higher. And usually when you see shifts in the seals or serial numbers, uh, they coincide with one another. So the green portions of this bill which be shifted together generally because they're done during the second printing portion of making the note. So that explains why they do that. But nothing there, and it's not shifted enough, and it's not obscuring something below it, so I don't think it's really an error in my, my opinion. But let me know if you think differently and if you collect just ink shifts in general. Last but not least, aha, date note, huzzah! August 5th, 1323, so it's not a birth, well, I guess it's somebody's birthday that's passed already, but it's not a current person's birthday, so I don't like to call them birthday notes, uh, if they're not one you can actually give to someone that's alive currently that was born, uh, you know, in this case in 1323, maybe they're a vampire though, let me know, if you know that, then you know better things than we do, uh, and you are living the dream, but anyway, because I am a horror and dark fantasy fan. Anyhow, aside from me, August 5th, 1323, so a decent date note. It's a little bit beat up, but I like keeping them, so I'm going to keep uh, keep this date note since it's only a dollar. As you know, I keep a lot of date notes. I also keep a lot of star notes. I'll look up this date. Hopefully something really cool happened historically on August 5th, 1323, and I will put it in the description box below. But otherwise, let's look at the back of the note real quick, see if there's anything on the reverse. Sometimes you get a little bit of issues with ink on the shield, as well as at the bottom here where it has Roman numerals for 1776. Doesn't seem like it here, so I'm still going to hold on to this little fella as a date note, since it's only a dollar. But let me know what you've come across in your bill and coin searches lately in the comments below. And like I said, jump over to VarietyAirs.com. Get in on our free giveaway. All you got to do is drop your email. It's a secure form. The whole website is SSL secured. I will contact the winners in the next 12, 13 days and start popping mystery prizes in the mail. So get in on the action, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.